everybody, welcome back to our 7.5 lecture video. In this part, we're just going to finish up and look at simple interest. So simple interest, the equation looks like this. Simple interest equals principal times rate times time. Now this is not like a principal of a school. Uh, the principal is another name for the starting amount. It's not AL, sorry about that. So this is the starting amount, whether that's the amount that you put in a bank account, or the amount that you take out a loan, or the amount that you've charged on the credit card. It's that starting amount. Okay, uh, the rate, unless they tell you otherwise, is going to be an annual rate. Okay, so that means that that's the amount over a year. Um, that's going to include your interest, okay? Uh, as well, rates are going to be in percents. Uh, don't forget to convert from a percent to a decimal, okay? The time should be in years, okay? In general, your the rate should match up with your time. So if it's an annual rate, your time should be in years. If you ever get a monthly rate, your time should be in months. If you have a daily rate, your time should be in days. So these should always correspond with each other and match up. Okay? Uh, so this whole equation just tells you how much interest uh, gets added to the amount. The total amount that's paid or received uh, is going to be your principal, that's the starting amount, plus the interest that gets paid over time. All right, so let's do some examples of this. So my first example says, find the simple interest after two years on $500 at an interest rate of 12%. All right, so all I'm gonna do is find the interest. So interest equals principal, so that's the starting dollar amount, which is my $500, times the rate, well, my rate is 12%. 12% as a decimal is 0.12 times the time in years. So it's already in years, thankfully. So I'm going to multiply by 2. So it's 2 years. If you multiply those together, 500 times 0.12 times 2, you should get $120. So that's the amount that's added to that account over time. Okay, let's do another one. A student borrowed $1,500 for nine months on her credit card at a simple interest rate of 20%. How much interest did she pay? And what was the total amount that she paid? So let's start with just the interest first. So interest is principal. So the starting amount that she borrowed is right here. It's $1,500. times rate, so it's at a simple interest rate of 20%. 20% as a decimal is going to be 0.2 or 0.20 if it makes you feel better, times time in years. And you notice that they did not give us the amount of time in years, we have the amount of time in months. So it tells us that it's nine months. Well, what I know is that there's 12 months in a year. So if you want to convert from months to years, what you're going to do is take nine months, and we know that there's 12 months in one year, right? So the amount of time is going to be nine over 12. Okay. And you are welcome to simplify that. That simplifies to three fourths. You could actually turn that into a decimal. It works out pretty nicely, 0.75. But I wanted to do it this way because not everything works out quite as nicely as nine months. If you start out with, you know, seven months or five months, for example, it wouldn't work out quite as nicely. So one thing that you can always do when you're doing the arithmetic is you could do 1500 times 0.2 and then multiply by nine and divide by 12. 
So in your calculator, what you would do is 1500 times 0.2 times 9 divided by 12. And that'll get you there, okay? So for our interest on this one, it works out pretty nicely. Uh, we get $225, okay? And that's the first question. Remember with any word problem, you always go back to the question, uh, make sure you answered the whole thing. And we have not answered everything yet. We have how much interest she paid, but we do not have an answer yet for the second question. What was the total amount paid? So the total amount would be that original amount that she borrowed, the 1500, and then we're gonna add in the interest, okay? So that's the amount of extra that uh, she had to pay because she took nine months to pay it off, okay? And I hope all of you at home know to pay off your credit cards much, much sooner than nine months, preferably by the end of the month so you don't get any interest at all. You guys all know that? Yes? Great. Anyway, uh, 1500 plus 225 would give her a total of $1,725 that she spent uh, that month. Okay? Last one it says if $3,200 is invested for 18 months at 5% interest, Calculate the amount of simple interest earned and the total amount end of the term. I think I'm gonna let you guys try this one because it's pretty similar to example six. So I'll let you try one before I let you go and we'll see how it goes. So pause your video and see if you can try this one and I will show you the answer here in three, two, one. All right, to find your interest, you should be doing Oh goodness, that's a terrible three. Uh, 3,200 times the rate, which would be 0 0.05, times the time. So you could do 18 over 12, or it actually works out uh, very nicely. That also simplifies to 1.5 if you want to simplify that. So if you do 3,200 times 0 0.5 times 1.5, uh, you should get $240 in interest. The total amount, you should be adding things together. So 3,200 and adding the $240 of interest. And then the total amount then would be $3,440. All right, hope this helps you guys get started this week and hope you guys have a wonderful week.